Kintu, the legendary first king of Buganda, was certainly the most beloved figure in all the kingdom, and many legends grew around him. When Kintu first arrived in Uganda from a distant land, there were no sources of food. He had in his possession only one cow, and he lived off what she could provide him. Nambi, the dashingly beautiful sky goddess and daughter of the god Gulu, would frequently watch Kintu in secret and observe how he conquered nature itself. Over time, Nambi fell deeply in love with Kintu and wanted to marry him. Gulu, the supreme god, of course did not want a mere mortal marrying his daughter, and so he set a series of impossible tasks for Kintu to complete before he would allow Nambi to marry him. As the first test, Gulu stole Kintu's cow. The hero would have starved to death without his beloved cow. But Nambi, in her celestial wisdom, showed him how to find edible herbs and other plants. And so, Kintu passed this <laughs> test and many others. For a final test, Gulu told Kintu that he could marry Nambi if he could pick his own cow out of Gulu's herd. Nambi hmm. then sent a bee that told Kintu to choose the cow on whose horns it landed, which of course was Kintu's cow. Gulu was rather upset that Kintu passed all of his tests, but he realized that this mortal may be worthy of his daughter after all, and so Kintu and Nambi were married and they returned to earth. However, Gulu warned them never to return to the heavens because if they did, Nambi's brother Walumbe, or death, would follow them back to earth. The couple brought many things with them from the heavens, among them goats, sheep, and chickens. But Nambi realized that they had forgotten grain to feed the chickens. Despite Kintu's efforts to stop her, she insisted on returning to heaven for the grain. Walumbe followed her home back to earth. He began asking for the couple's children, but Nambi and Kintu refused to give them up. They begged Gulu for help. So he sent Nambi's brother, Kakuzi, to confront Walumbe. The brothers fought. Oh, that they fought. But in the end, Walumbe escaped and fled deep into the earth, creating the underworld, becoming its ruler. And since that time, death has lived on earth. If you like these animated videos and want to help in its continued production, Please consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below.